Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about a very special shotgun round. This is the uh, Aguila mini shells. Okay, it's a box of 20, 12 gauge. These are slugs. These are very unique. First of all, a huge, huge thank you to G-Webs, as most of us know them, but their full name here on YouTube is Gun Websites. Uh, link will be in the description box to them. This is a huge shout out to them. I've, I've given shout outs to them because they have an amazing channel. But uh, they had sent me a little care package after they went to SHOT Show. You know, they were hanging out with uh, the Haas, USMC. And they really hooked me up. They sent me this box of ammo, which uh, is something I've commented before, which I, I'm in love with. I wish I had a thousand rounds of these because it's a novelty round, but it's a really, really cool one. And I'm going to demonstrate them here in the video. But they also hooked me up with some hot sauce and, uh, you know, Glock pen. It, it was really, really cool of them. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, these are uh, some novelty shotgun rounds, which I really, really love. First off, let's look at what my preferred load is for, for right now. This is the dual bonded uh, Winchester slug, okay? Here's a look at that. And compare that to the Aguila mini shell. This is also a slug, but if I can kind of hold these, they're round, so I can't really do that, but let me do this. Look how small these things are. This is a two and three quarter inch shell. That's just <laughs> crazy small. All right, so you guys can obviously see how small those were. Um, what's the advantage of having such a small little round? Two things, two huge advantages. One, capacity. You can load more of these into the same exact spot as you would load the larger rounds, right? The other benefit is low recoil. These are not very hard, you know, uh, recoiling rounds, okay? The downside to these are these are not meant for uh, semi-automatic shotguns or pump, most pump shotguns. Now, I found with just, um, just playing around with this that the percentage of a successful racking of the round into the chamber is usually 9 out of 10, roughly 90%. Um, if you rack it fast, which I'll show you in a minute here, Here's my Mossberg 500 Tactical Cruiser. Um, if you go fast with it, it's usually not a problem, but you do have hangups because of the fact that it's so small, when it goes into the receiver after it's stripped out of the, the tube magazine, there's too much room for it to kind of wobble around and stuff and it can go sideways or just kind of get stuck in there. So this is not recommended for defense, okay, at all. Absolutely not because you can't, you can't have that 100% um, that success rate in loading it, okay? And you don't, assert, certainly don't want to jam in a defensive situation, but a very fun, cool round for the range. Or an excellent choice if you have a break open shotgun. If you have a 12 gauge break barrel, uh, if you have, you know, over under or side by side 12 gauge, these would be an awesome, awesome ammo to shoot. Uh, not only can you load a bunch more, like in your bag or your pocket or whatever, where however you're carrying your ammunition, you can keep a lot more of the ammo in a smaller, you know, area but also it's gonna be a lot more uh, friendly on your shoulder as far as shooting. So, pretty interesting round though. I think it's pretty cool. I wanna show you the capacity in these two shotguns because I did show you the Mossberg 500 Tactical Cruiser, but if you guys watch all the videos, you know that I also have a Mossberg 500 Persuader, okay? The Persuader is a seven plus one pump action shotgun. So two magazine holds seven rounds, seven of the average two and three quarter inch shells. I'm gonna see how many I can fit of these, these little Aguilas in this shotgun, as well as my tactical cruiser, which is normally a five plus one, okay? So usually six shot capacity as opposed to the eight shot capacity on the big one. So first let's start with the big one because it's just the most exciting to do. So the gun is empty right now. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the tube magazine. Safety is on, I'm not gonna be anywhere near the triggers at all during this entire video, okay? But I wanna just load this up and show you. Now I'm going to um, try to keep this in frame so you can see there's no sleight of hand or anything silly like that. It's not, it's not a magic trick, okay? It's actually going in the gun. But I just want to show you this because it's pretty cool. Keep in mind, it's supposed to hold seven rounds. So let's count them out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I happen to know it stops there. Twelve plus one. Okay, so if you want to load one in the chamber, you can see it successfully goes in there, but it's not always successful. There's your number 13. Okay, so you can create a capacity of 12 plus 1 in this uh, Mossberg 500 um, Persuader. That's impressive. 13 rounds, 13 12 gauge slugs. So let's unload this now because I want to make sure it's nice and safe. So what I'm going to do is first, I'll count them out again as I unload them. Well, you're not really going to be able to see this, but yeah, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, I know, a little boring. Eleven, twelve, and then the one we have in the chamber, thirteen. That's a lot of capacity. All right, shotgun's empty, also have the safety on. All right, so thirteen. Slugs, 12 gauge. That's pretty impressive. Now, as you saw, I did rack one into the uh, um, chamber there, and it was successful, but if you're shooting this gun and you're continuously, you know, take a shot, load a new round, if you're too slow racking it, they will tend to twist up. And I'm gonna try to get an example of this right now. I'm just gonna load three of them, and I'm gonna go a little slower to purposely have a malfunction here. I just wanna show you what I'm talking about. So there's three rounds in here. That's one successful. See that? If you don't go fast, they will turn sideways on you because of their small size. All right, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's sideways. See it poking out the bottom here. So you want to, uh, you don't want, I shouldn't say you want to, you don't want to use these for a defensive round. Now, that's unfortunate because, um, at least in semi-automatic guns, they surely will not work in those, but most pump-action shotguns are not as, uh, as um, reliable. No, nowhere near as reliable as your regular two and three-quarter inch shells, all right? So, not for defense. Which I said is very unfortunate because I would love to have that higher, much higher capacity, um, almost double, uh, because the shells are, are almost half the size of a normal one. But pretty cool, definitely gonna be fun for the range. I do not have a break open uh, 12 gauge shotgun, but these would certainly be a lot of fun to, uh, to shoot in those. Uh, but just want to do a video on it. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick how many of these hold in the smaller tactical cruiser. So I'm trying to go faster here because it's a little boring to watch me count them out. I'm trying to show my hand and everything so everyone's not like, oh, you cheated. Oh, you're, you know, it's sleight of hand. You're not really putting them in. That's silly. Why would I make a video like that? Anyway, right now we are empty. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in two magazine. And let's load these up and see how many I can get in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's it. So it's nine plus one. That's awesome. Short shotgun like this, 10 round capacity. But again, not for defense, unfortunately. Boo hoo for that, because that would be really cool. Yeah, you'd have to have a, uh, a dedicated gun made for this ammunition. So you have a smaller receiver, and so that the travel that the round has to actually move would not allow it to, to turn inside, you know, and go sideways or anything like that. But it seems interesting. 
And I, I don't know if there'd be a huge market for it, but uh, if I was a gun manufacturer and I decided to specifically make something like this, I would make a very similar ammo. Everything set up exactly the same. I'd have a 12, a 12 gauge platform, probably pump action. I'd put out my own, like let's say, I don't know, I'm some huge manufacturer. I either have a deal with an ammunition company or maybe make my own ammo and make these little rounds like this, but have a specific gun for it. Some kind of a, maybe even a short barrel shotgun. You see a lot of uh, SBR or, um, yeah, I guess technically it's an SBR, right? Short barrel rifle. Or the short barrel shotguns have their own category. Either way, you see like those little uh, 12 gauge pump shotguns that hold like, you know, three plus one. It'd be cool if they specifically made them with a, a smaller receiver that accepts this ammo or, you know, an ammo made for it where you can really have a higher capacity. Because again, you know, even in this gun, having nine plus one, 10 rounds for this size would be awesome. I honestly think it would, it would probably sell pretty good as a novelty gun uh, for home defense if it was specifically made to be extremely reliable with this kind of ammunition. But so far, there's nothing like that in the market. Uh, I have no idea where to get this. Uh, I, you know, I know some of you guys are going to be interested in this now. I would recommend um, subscribing to gun websites and then politely asking them in a message box perhaps where they got these from because um, I think they're really, really cool. But again, novelty for range time. But uh, hey, you know what? People always talk about the zombie apocalypse coming and uh, you know, people say that shotguns are not good because, you know, heavy ammunition, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, if you happen to have, uh, you know, a 12 gauge side by side, break, a, you know, break action shotgun, this would be a great ammo for you to store up. Get a couple hundred rounds of these, throw them in, uh, you know, those, like if you're doing trap shooting and stuff, they have those vests that have the big pockets for shells. We'll load them up, you get twice as many rounds in there, and you're good to go, killing them zombies. But uh, in the meantime, if you could find these things, you can have fun with them at the range. They're pretty cool. Just be careful. I, I, would, I would not put a single one in a semi-auto gun because you're dealing with springs there and stuff. It's a lot. There's more potential for uh, accidents, perhaps even damaging the gun. Don't even think about it. As far as pump action shotguns, I think it's, it, you can try it, but again, definitely, definitely not for defense. Just for a novelty at the range when you can safely do so. Specifically made for the single shot 12 gauge. Anyway, I thought that was an awesome, awesome thing, so I want to make a video on it. And again, I want to thank Gun Websites for the, uh, the very nice care package. This is something I really, really wanted, and there, I couldn't find it anywhere, so very cool of them to do. just want to show anyone who's really paying attention, I do know there's one more round in this gun, because I figured someone might mention it. Just wanted to clear it for you on camera. Always pay attention to what you're doing. Know exactly what you're doing. Uh, it's a reminder too for anyone who does uh, gun videos, when you're doing a video, sometimes things escape your mind. But uh, just wanted to mention it there at the end just for safety. So that's all. I'm really going now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.